Dear committee, I'm Xiao Jia from Clemson University. Today, I would like to share with you my research regarding a numerical approach based on a plasma temperature combined model to study the interaction between ultrashort laser and dielectric materials. Ultrashort laser is very important and employed in high precision manufacturing. With the compression of pulse duration, the peak power and the intensity can be increased significantly. From nanosecond to femtosecond, there is 10 to 60 times difference. This very unique feature will bring about high precision micro machining. Also, the thermal damage can be reduced because of the low pulse energy and non thermal behavior within the ultra short pulse duration. Successful application has been achieved in micro machining in both metals and dielectric materials. However, the very complicated mechanisms need to be further studied. At normal state, dielectric material will be transparent to near infrared light. When the laser intensity is high enough, free electrons can be excited firstly, and the absorption can be increased so that the material starts to absorb the laser energy and get heated. When the temperature is high enough, the physical, physical properties of the material can be changed, and the material will eventually get damaged. Material ablation is a process of violent material decomposition. Finally, we will have a crater with a depth from nanometer to micron. In the plasma temperature combined model, electron and temperature behavior can be described based on the plasma model and two temperature model respectively. Electronic diffusion generation and relaxation are described in plasma model and the thermal diffusion, electron lattice coupling, and laser source are the major consideration in the two temperature model. Based on simulation, temperature evolution of electron and lattice can be investigated in the material. Electrons will first be heated and transfer the thermal energy to lattice continuously. Eventually, they will achieve thermal equilibrium with intense of picosecond. Material is treated to be removed from the sample when the lattice temperature is higher than the ablation criteria, and the ab ablation depth will be determined eventually. Based on this method, the prediction of ablation depths with various fluids agrees well with experiments. With various pulse duration, the ablation depths can first increase in femtosecond region and then decrease in picosecond region. As for ablation efficiency, with the increase of laser fluence, the ablation efficiency will get reduced with higher laser pulse energy. This will make us to suggest that low energy manufacturing will be applied in the real manufacturing process for the consideration of high ablation efficiency and the low thermal damage. In the next stage, Multi-scale simulation will be employed to study the particle motion and the long micro holes in dielectric material like glass will be achieved through experiments. Thanks for your attention.